And I'm not trying to hate on Tiger Woods. Let me tell you, I was on the Tiger Woods bandwagon. Believe me, I was. But, man, after, you know, what is it? It's nine confirmed, ten confirmed. I mean, uh, 12 bimbos are coming out. More bimbos are coming out of the woodwork. I mean, couldn't you keep it in your freaking pants, Tiger? Good God! I mean, you remind me like one of these dumbasses on these damn court shows that come in that got 18 kids from eight women. Give me a break. Just straight gutter pimp, Tiger. Let me tell you, you, you have the... You, I, I think you need to come out from whatever hole you're in and say, look, I, I was a nerd when I was younger. You know, I, I mean, my dad bitch slapped me around. I, I'm not saying that that's what happened. That's my opinion. But I think that you need to say something, Tiger. You need to say something to justify the sexual deviant idea, the, the sexual relationships that you were having, for heaven's sake. I mean, and you know what? I mean, Tiger Woods, and the only reason I bring him up, folks, is because he's one of the most widely known worldwide sports figures in the damn world. In the world! And this idiot goes out and acts like he's, what, Ike Turner or some crap? And what the hell's your problem, Tiger? I mean, what is it within people... That makes them want to destroy themselves. And you see, folks, Tiger is not unlike you idiots that are out here in America. Yeah, well, that's right, I said it. Tiger is not unlike you idiots in America that are out here putting yourself in debts you can't pay for. Spending uh, $250,000 on a house on a $25,000 a year income. Going out there and getting an Escalade when you're working at a Wendy's. Going out there and putting yourself in massive amounts of debt that you'll never be able to pay in your life, nor in your children's life. You're sitting there having children that you can't afford, and you're pissing and moaning at everybody else when it's your fault. And Tiger, just like everybody else out here in America, that's your fault, buddy. I'm sick and tired of everybody pointing the fingers at everybody else for their own bad decisions. It is your stupid fault, America! If you're in a bad situation, if you're in a bad economic situation, it is your fault! Look, everybody's going through some rough times, folks. I don't care who, how rich people think they are in this America. Everybody is suffering! I belong to my local chamber of commerce, and I'm seeing mom and pop shops that have been around for a hundred years! That have been around for a hundred years! That are going out of business! because of the damn stupid communistic socialistic recession that nobody seems to give a rat ass about and I can't believe it! I no! 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 What the hell is wrong with you people? Why don't you get up off your fat jelly asses and realize that this country's on the Titanic and it needs you! It needs you! It needs your participation, you stupid idiot! It needs you to go out there and be politically active! You need to go out there and organize! You have to organize! You gotta participate in this political system because if you don't, these bureaucrats, they're gonna take over the world! They're gonna take over the world! <laughs> And nobody cares. That's the worst part about it. That's what burns a hole in my stomach. Is that nobody cares. Uh, nobody cares. Uh, is anybody out there listening? Does anybody out there give two rat's asses? Uh, Six four six six five two four eight six nine. And look at these ass clowns in the chat room. They're flapping their fat sausages of the fingers, sitting here saying, "Oh, I don't care. Oh, I don't care." Let me tell you something, you sorry sack of crap. You better hope. You better hope to whatever secularist atheist god that you dumbasses pray to that the conservative movement doesn't take power in 010 and in 012 because I guarantee you that we are going to hold all of you losers, all of you morons accountable, all of you entitlement receiving losers of society, all of you damn corporate slime balls in Wall Street that gank the American taxpayer. We are going to make sure 
that you ass clowns pay, and you're going to pay dearly, and you're going to pay with interest. I guarantee you.